Hey folks, all doing? Hero of None here with your Mudus Minute on January 21st, 2022. ESO News, Luxury Merchant, and Gold Merchant stuff, all in a few minutes. So first up, in the news. Well, I kind of want to show something in real life, so I'm going to just go ahead and swap our camera here and show you something we actually got from Zoss. Uh, this is a bit of a gift concerning the next chapter. A uh, few of the ESO streamers have gotten this. And this is basically showing off a medallion and note that comes with the next chapter here. A uh, medallion might be part of a collector's edition thing, or it might just be simply something for the streamers only. But here, we'll give a better look at that. As you can notice here, this is uh, three cups in each one. You can actually see it pretty good with the gliding here. Uh, you got gold in the middle, red in the right-hand side, blue on the left-hand side, which in indicates, of course, uh, Daggerfall Covenant, Eldari Dominion, Ebonheart Pact, all pouring into some big area here, which may mean the end of the war in Cyrodiil. On the flip side, we got a bit of a ship on the back end here. Now, the note that comes with this, Adventurer, we seize this letter from a medallion from a courier journeyed through Glenumbra. Investigate, investigate this organization. Uncover its goals and report back to me. You can name your price. Lady Annabelle Duraxis. Then, well, the main part of the actual letter here. Magus. Our knights obtained this medallion on a raid of the secret mages guild workshop. Study it, protect it. Its purpose will play a vital role to the Ascended Order's plans. Find the mage who created it and send our knights to secure the master template. Remember, we cannot ascend until we meet all of our over over overarching goals. The secret of these medallions is a key to success to the salvation of Tamriel. Do not fail me. Your lord. And there's a little sigil at the bottom. So, all very interesting stuff. And also came, comes with a little bag here. We'll see the... If I pop that in there. This is going to go in my little curio case here. But figured I'd show share that here as part of the news here. Now, uh, for the rest of the news here, uh, if you haven't heard already, the Daedric War event is going on right now. During this time, you're going to be able to go to various areas, including the Clockwork City, Vanderfall, or Somerset, and get double rewards, chests, and other goodies for doing dailies, killing bosses there, etc. Uh, note, if you want to get the Impressorio tickets, you're going to have to do one daily over in Somerset and one daily either in Morrowind or Clockwork City. Those are kind of considered to be the same there. Uh, this, of course, will either require that you have ESO Plus or that you have the chapters to participate in. Also, a reminder again, the 27th, uh, a very special day for me in other respects, but 27th is when the major announcement is coming for ESO. Make sure to tune into Twitch.Bethesda to see more. That's going to be at 3 p.m. Hope to see you all there. Now, let's take a look at the Luxury Merchant and the Golden Merchant for this week. So, Clockwork Altars, Calibration Systems... These are actually quite big. Uh, be interesting to use these inside of a house, I think. Lens. Clockwork set. Surveyors. A big telescope. And a small telescope. I I, I really think that some of these uh, some of these calibration guides here are I can, are pretty interesting. Uh, Fifty K is a bit much, but. Still, like you can use these to light up a uh, no, not so light, light up and also floor a Daedric themed house. Some of these other items here, more just kind of piecing together items that you might want to put together. How you want them. So, on the Golden Merchant for 150k, uh, Necklace of Jogger Heritage. 
Uh, healing taken, max health, max health. And when you take damage while you're under 35% health, you knock back all enemies in four meters for two seconds and heal for 5,000 health. So I can go once every seven seconds and we'll scale off your max magicka or stamina. Uh, I'd say this is not a great set in general. Uh, reason being, if you take a look, you're basing this off of your max health or, ma or sorry, your max magicka or stamina and you're getting health out of this. On top of which, the healing is just really kind of pathetic. Walls are under 50k. Uh, Plague Doctors, which gives you max health, a lot of max health all the way through. Uh, probably use it for more tanky classes, and I actually probably say better for PvP in the low uh, class. In general, though, I don't think it's going to be that great, given how high health is right now. Really, people want to have more sets with, like, other effects other than just max health but maybe you have a build for this this will actually work for for 250k you get a necklace of Eurus. uh we take damage while you're under 50 percent health some of your spirit for six seconds at a random group member you or the group member can activate a synergy on Eurus to grant a shield that protects up to six six of the group for 228 meters for 13k health uh, 13 day damage for six seconds that can grow once every 10 seconds uh, this is poop. <laughs> I would not recommend this. Instead, I would probably go for something like Imperium. Imperium does not have this health requirement. It does it randomly, but when you take damage, you can get a damage shield. It's the same duration and about the same uh, damage shield as well. So, yeah, I would skip this one entirely. Maybe, maybe at the very most, you were stacking the two, it'd be good. But also, you have to synergize this here. I don't like it that much. Then, uh, Hulking Draggers, which boosts up your max stamina. This might be important, but I might recommend just go ahead and run the dungeon. That's going to be out of Dire Frost Keep. Yeah, probably do that instead. Uh, 250k for this is kind of expensive. Then for 100k, Ice Hearts Guys, which is good for uh, magical or stamina builds, especially if you're doing solo run dungeons or arenas, such as... Velshren's Hollow or a VMA. And then Troll Kings, guys. Used to be big. I don't know where it stands right now. Might be good still for PvP. Uh, PvE side, most folks will go with Earth Gore, Choke Thorn, or other sets out there. Anyway, I'm Hero Done. That's the Minute. I'll see you all in Tamriel.